really strange now in this final season is when I've done the most reflecting and looking back to like the first and it really has been everything that I can really remember like I don't remember my life before this yeah show. and to think it mightn't have happened you might have gone to the school trip that involved going to a pig farm <laughs> I know that you wanted to go on and I your mum said no you're going <laughs> for the audition <laughs> exactly yeah I desperately wanted to go on a school trip instead <laughs> and good job I didn't <laughs> wouldn't be here now no of course of course and now that it is coming to the last season everyone is talking about it. I mean, in those early days, were you aware of just how big it was and how big it would be? Did you feel like it was something special at that stage? I mean, I just had no, no idea. Yeah, I think it was like quite overwhelming yeah. at the beginning, but it's been something that definitely grew gradually. And um, I mean, now here we are 81 million times that one day. trailer was it's watched. just it's crazy. Insane. Because like, there's a lot of things to watch out there for people, isn't there? there you know, is. And, and to, to think that this on an international level, definitely everyone's talking about. It. Yeah, it's and shows incredible. have come since and, you know, for it to still be as big as it, you know, was three seasons ago, four seasons ago and even bigger now, like, it's quite incredible for a show to do that, really. So I'm, I'm honoured to be a part of it. I mean, do you know if you are going to survive, if the Queen of Dragons well, will be there till the end of the <laughs> series? <laughs> well, you never know. That's the thing, you never know. And they, as... Um, David and Dan, the creators of the show, really keep pretty tight-lipped yeah. about it. Like, they don't they don't tell us very much. Kind of hair and makeup and everyone else, all the other departments, get the scripts way ahead of us. Yes. It's always a big so kind like, of... tell me, tell me. Exactly, exactly. You can get them drunk, they still won't <laughs> tell you. But, um, but yeah, so I know as little as everyone else, sadly. Well, you, you've really, I mean, you've been in some plum, plum series, Game of Thrones being one of them, the, the one that everyone talks about. Yeah, that was, was I mean, it's a, uh, it's a juggernaut of, uh, isn't it? Of, of huge proportions. It was great to be in there at the beginning and to sort of establish what, what the, that world is. Fantasy is a, a, tricky, a tricky genre because it's, you're having to invent everything, really. Yeah, and it's not everyone's cup of tea, is it? No, really? it's not. It's yeah. not. But it, you know, the, I think there's so much to Game of Thrones that you can get involved with with the storylines and the the kind of web of intrigue that that. Uh, they, they create. Do your family watch what you do? Do they care? Do they know where you go every day? <laughs> they've not. They've not seen a huge amount. My kids are, are, are too young to watch Game of Thrones. Uh, although uh, my eldest daughter's seen bits and don't like your character very much. Uh, Thank you. Game of Thrones as well. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I, mean, I had a lot of fur in that. Yes. 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 Look at that beautiful girl. Yeah. Exactly. But that must be, again, that has been so, so successful all yes. over the world. And people, Indeed. you know, people just don't, it's one of those shows that people just go, oh, I quite, I quite like to watch that. It's like, I've got to watch that. And then they get box sets and it's like, I'll just have to watch another one. Oh and then God. another one. And it's three in the morning. Indeed. Exactly. It's three in the morning. It and you're is. like, I've got to get up in an hour and I've just been watching yeah. this all night. And that's a wonderful thing about Netflix as well, because they count down the seconds. I know. And so you're watching something like Breaking Bad, which is also brilliant. Oh, awesome. And then suddenly you're on exactly kind of like episode 13 and you're like, you're oh like, my I've God. I've just watched another one. I've oh, just what? watched another one. You know, it's like a really good time in my own life. Like at 21, nearly 22, like everyone my age is like leaving uni and now they're trying to figure out what they want to do with the rest <laughs> of their life. And I feel like I've just graduated like the school of acting. And yeah. Now I want to figure out what I want to do with the rest <laughs> of my career. So it's like one chapter ending and like a new one opening, which is really exciting. But the last chapter was really beautiful and I am going to miss it. <laughs> I know. I mean, and you, you've already started lots of, well, you've lots of movies and different things coming up in the pipeline. And also Absolutely. there's an app that you're involved with. Yeah. So I created my own company last year called Daisy um, with the hopes of helping other people start a career for themselves. So whether it be film, fashion, music, photography, art, literature, we wanted like creative industries to have a hub and a place to go to be able to call upon like-minded people and create their own projects. Oh, that's really exciting. So you're kind of, you're branching off already, basically, into yeah. things that you want to do. Definitely. Like, unintentionally, it wasn't like a plan, like, after the show, I'm going to do Daisy. But it's all sort of, you know, like with lots of things, like, I've never really planned what's happened so far. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the next 10 years of my life. But, you know, with all these little things that I have going on, and I am very ambitious, and I, you know, just kind of got my fingers crossed and jumping into the future, really. No, of course, that's as it should be, as it should be. <laughs> I can't say, but I'm really bad at it. I always want to tell everyone, and I once uh, ruined uh, a big spoiler for my friend at his birthday party. I decided to tell him everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, so I always worry I'm going to get in trouble, but it's, I'm really relieved the show's coming out so I can finally talk about it with yes, everyone. Yes, it's just, yes, absolutely. You can breathe after yeah. every episode now. Um, it, it obviously has taken over a massive chunk of your life now, Hannah, most of yeah. your 20s, in yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. Um, how does that feel now that it's coming to an end? It feels like, yeah, it feels like the end of school or the end of university or the end of any kind of really significant time with such an important group of people. I suppose as well the show has provided you with these incredible opportunities. I mean, you've, you've been all over the world with it as well. Yes. And it's yeah. opened so many doors. It is something that you can look back on and think I, that I was part of something that really was on another level. Yeah, I think it's going to take a while to really sink in how, what a phenomenon the show is. I watched the first episode of the final season at our premiere in New York with a small group of 5,000 people, <laughs> which was very fun because it's such a great, um, it's such a sort of crowd pleasing episode, that first one, I think. And uh, it's amazing to see like the audience reaction and people cheering and clapping every time their favorite characters come on screen. But I think I'll watch it in, I live in LA now, and I think I'll watch the rest of the season with just a group of friends. Um, because it's so fun. It's such a fun show to watch with people. I think. Of course, of course. If they're fans, everyone has an opinion. It's, yeah. yeah, yeah. They all have bought into it. I bet you wish you had a fiver to give to World Vision for every single time people ask you what's going on in Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a nice fundraising way? <laughs> just pretend. Just say, yeah, I'll tell you everything, and then don't tell them anything at all. But you must get that 20, 30, 40, 50 times a day. Well, they they ask me, but actually, when I really face them with it and say. Do you really want to know? No, we don't. don't we really know. don't. Of I don't want to know. I'm a, I'm a fan. I've been trying to wipe out what I know is going to happen in yeah. this last season. The writers started enjoying channeling their sense of humour through him. And so yes. it's, his, it's, it's his humour that, that it's saved It's an amazing him. character to play. It really, really is. And it's global, isn't it? I don't think there's anywhere that you can go now, really, without people sort of shouting Game of Thrones at you. And wanting it, to is it is amazing. It's, it's really struck a deep chord, so many deep archetypes mm. of our human condition in there. And um, yeah, there'll never, for me, I, I'm sure there'll never be another show yeah. like it. Did it kind of re, if, if you like, sort of the, maybe, you know, the, the passion for acting had maybe sort of gone a little bit, did this sort of reignite it, perhaps, this part? It definitely did. Okay. I, had, I, had, um, I hadn't been on screen for 10 years. And I had bought an old farm in Wales with the uh, proceeds of uh, my career uh, with Robson and Simon. Of course. Um, and uh, I thought maybe I won't, you know, maybe I won't go back. And nothing was being put in front of me that right. really excited me. But then I, I spent all my money renovating the buildings, and I was like, mm. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and then that came along, and wow, it was perfect timing. Uh, it just all worked. Yeah, and it was amazing because I got to go back. And, and then I got Ripper Street and they were both in Ireland and I'd wanted course, my, my an, I've got ans ancestry from Ireland, my grandfather, yeah. and so to spend time al Just also over work. there. And you've been very um, honest over the years as well, Maisie, about almost the downsides to the, this wonderful fame game that you find yourself yeah. in. And I know social media has, and we're talking about apps, but social media <laughs> has this huge influence. And particularly for, for a young person, I think, yeah. you do kind of live by it in many respects. And, and there were downsides throughout that journey. For yeah, you. I mean, social media has completely consumed the younger generation and it's not going anywhere and it's not going to change. So it's just trying to figure out how you navigate that as a young person and how you not let that completely affect the Way that you live your life yeah. and it was something that was really amplified for me when I was sort of growing up in the public eye and having like a you know a stream of basically people's opinions on you is quite damaging sometimes and I think just you know learning how to navigate that was something that I had to do quite quickly and almost sort of let go of and and you know not take it too seriously and just you know trust that whatever I wanted to do was was the right decision and, and not let that affect have me. Have strength within yourself I suppose to deal with it but off the back of this wonderful period of your life the 10 years and actually it's your 22nd birthday the night that this the last the yeah. show starts yeah, yeah, so it'll yeah. be a, a big celebration a I'm birthday sure. present to me yeah <laughs> to you, <laughs> um, but you you come away with such incredible memories and some wonderful friends, and I know Sophie uh, Turner being one of them, yes, of course. Absolutely. And and that's something that will stick with you forever. Me and Sophie say it to each other all the time, like we can't wait to start the rest of our lives. It's like we just got married and now we can <laughs> we continue on. Um, so yeah, that sort of thing is going to stay with me forever, and um, you know I'm grateful for the show. It's like one big convoluted way of me and Sophie meeting each other. Yeah, no. <laughs> and Game of Thrones. 
come in to the, the end. Did you have the biggest party in the world when that all finished? About 15 parties? Yeah, 15 isn't parties. It? There's the rat <laughs> How party. do you manage still to stay alive, though? <laughs> Everybody else is dead. I know, I know. <laughs> I sort of, uh, I don't know how I did either. I got every disease known to, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, I, it was hard. But we, April is when it's all coming out and they'll be the last and they're all feature-length episodes, wow. six of them. It's and, like six uh, movies. We'll be watching six, six movies. Exactly, we'll, yeah. Definitely.